Okay. So we're it. We're ready when you are. All right. Uh, let's call the meeting to order. Nick, do you want to? Yeah. yeah. Ah. It's terrible. Fun. Uh, okay. Roll call. Call roll. Uh, uh, Commissioner Castillo White. She's here. Sure. 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 <laughs> uh, Chair Jansen's. She's here. Commissioner Stevens. Commissioner Kester. Here. Uh, Chair Allen. Here. Or vice chair. Vice chair. Uh, Commissioner Hill and Commissioner Stephan. Here. Sweet. Okay. Uh, would you like to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance if they wish? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Uh, we have no public for Yep. We have no public for public comments, so that means we will launch into our agenda. So I think that the, the agenda today is for anybody who's not here. Uh, we are reviewing the signage options for the historic district of Hungry Hill for the city of Trapio. And you have, the staff is presenting us numerous options to uh, look at and comment on. Mm -hmm. So before we jump, we're going to actually do an exercise tonight with some dots. Okay. Um, and before we jump into that exercise um, this evening, Unfortunately, Mar Marley Boxler, our economic development coordinator, couldn't be here tonight. She fell ill. Um, but her, Marley and I wanted to present some additional information to, this, to the, this committee this evening and kind of work that we're doing on the visitor side when it comes to branding. Um, last, early last year, the destination um, strategy came out. Um, it's a it's a strategy document that talks about you know visitors coming to Troutville and how do we encourage that to happen more and one of the strategies in that document talked about um, visitor branding for Troutville for the visitor center and um, what kind of what that would look like and how it could complement the existing city brand and how those work together. Um, I would like to have a conversation to, I would love to bring that information to this group next month because what we're leaning into at this point is really the historic significance of Troutdale. And we want to share that with you and kind of um, what we're known for, the, the historic highway and kind of elements that we pulled out of old planning documents and how we've incorporated. Um, we, I, we talk about branding fonts and colors and um, uh, I don't want to. Most people, just for your perspective, most people on this committee have been involved with, with the development of the fonts Good. and the colors Good. and all of that. Good. So we're there. Good. Awesome. So we, want, we really want to uh, fold this new information into this group. Um, so for tonight, I, I would love for us to kind of choose maybe our top two from, from this batch here. Mm -hmm. And then next month, I think we're going to have like another little batch and we can put them together and have a conversation about the, about the two options. Mm -hmm. um, about the two options of here and then the two options that you want to bring from Bing. the other. Yes. From the other? Mm-hmm. That they're working on the Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I missed. Yep. Um, so before we do that. Yes. Can we revisit the discussion of, as opposed to it saying, <laughs> some kind of Troutdale, which just looks like historic Troutdale and other signs saying you're in Troutdale, saying historic district or hungry hill 
historic district. So I, I do, I have a example here. This is my first um, little foray into um, AI uh -huh. <laughs> imaging. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as you can see, this is just an example uh -huh. of what something could look like. So we have the street topper on top, and the street topper would actually be the whole length of the street sign. It's right. a little small on this example because it's AI and it's what it spit out. And then we were thinking at the last meeting having like a separate little sign that could be like the, the a map of the Hungry Hill area, um, like a boundary map mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. at, that's more at a pedestrian <laughs> level for them to look at. Mm -hmm. That would say something about Hungry Hill. And then at our last meeting, we talked about having like a bigger interpretive sign mm -hmm. somewhere. And that is still on the plate too, but that just takes a little more extra. Sure, well, that's oh, it's like another sure. step. Yeah. It's another, there's parts of the like, pieces of the puzzle and it's part of it. Yeah. So what, what I'm wondering now is, is it possible, so so what you've just described are three signs. So mm -hmm. the, the, the large one that provides context for everything it's kind of like the go-to and, and explains it. An interpretive, the larger interpretive larger sign. sign. Which I think is, uh, is a must. But these two signs, you know, as opposed to putting two different signs up on all of these, or at least at the boundary level, you know, if we just said historic district, Hungry Hill Historic District, then you don't have to do the second sign. Potentially. Potentially. And I think it's, you know, one of the, the reasons, and we can have this, this com we can definitely come back to this conversation okay. next month too, is because we wanted to incorporate all of downtown Troutdale, which exceeds the boundary of Hungry Hill. You want the historic district to encompass all of Troutdale, downtown Troutdale? No, so Hungry Hill, let's pull up a map yeah. here. Hungry I'm Hill doesn't... I'm going to relocate over there. Yeah, just so there. Hungry Hill, the boundary doesn't encompass all of downtown Trapville or of or the area that most people think downtown mm -hmm. Trapville is. Um, it excludes a portion. Um, oh, great. I'm pulling it up. Yeah. That's great. So this is all of, do you have it where it's just Hungry Hill? Yeah. yeah can do that. Is that this one? Yep. Yeah. So this is the area that is Hungry Hill and the first plat of Troutdale. <clears throat> it, it excludes the area west of Buxton to 257th. So that would be Second Street. If you want to click on kind of what we were thinking to include. So just a minute, is that the first plot or the first and second? That's the, That's first, the first and second. First and second, yeah. Or first of the addition, if we're being. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which were proposed within a year of wanting shit. Right. <laughs> This one? Yep. Back at this one? Yep. Okay. So you're you're saying that because you want to put signs out at the intersection of 257th that, or at say second and whatever street this that is right there. Mm -hmm. um, what, what street is that? Kendall. Kendall, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. That then that technically, ex, uh, renders it inaccurate if you say historic district but i would say don't put historic district signs there just leave it at the leave the historic district signs for the rest and the other area you could say entering historic or you could put up historic troutdale but it doesn't need to say historic district 
if you want to be, you know, super, know. I, I, super nitpicky. I mean, from my view is that the I mean, having the the kind of two part sign signage, uh, especially at the borders, I mean, that that plausibly allows us for just a little more a little more real estate, a little, a little more sign real estate. Um, to, to sort of emphasize it and get the point across. Uh, because the the repeated the repeated sign toppers, I mean, as as beautiful as they are, um, because they're repeated are are kind of kind of get lost in the I mean, over get time. Numb, numb to them. Yeah, you're, you're you're sort of gonna get um, uh, no, I desensitized to it. I guess is the right term. Uh, but uh, I mean, if you have, if you have the, but you still want that sort of visual reminder through the whole district. But if you have the, the extra, the extra bit at the at the edge, um, saying that you're you're entering Hungry Hill, then uh, I think I think there's a benefit to that. Yeah, and then I want to wait for Nick to come back and he can show, we can kind of go over where we thought maybe those extra boundary, boundary, boundary signs, signs can could we go. go. Back to the original? Yes, we're going to take you back to the original here. This one? So we can get really muddy here because this is the original plot. So that really designates the historic district. When you go over to the left, yes, that's historic. You can go across and that's historic. There was a lot of things that happened where the URA is now. Well, yeah, Around I could say tower, everything's I mean, historic. You can, you can keep yeah. Going. Yeah, yeah, it was all, yeah. <laughs> so I think we need to just keep it confined. We can, you know, we could just say, this is the original His plats. Mm -hmm. Keep it at that, have your, um, Interpretive sign that explains the story of Hungry Hill, explains the boundaries, and um, whatever their other history you want to put in there. Mm -hmm. But the signs, like Aaron was saying, really need to say historic district. And when you see them, you realize where you are at. If you're across the street and there's no sign, you're not in the district. But if you're in the district, that's what the sign's going to tell you, and you know where you're at. If you're confused, so I'm just looking at the signs behind you, Aaron. <laughs> Earlier, I was like, oh, shit. I'm trying, so, trying to catch your eye there for a minute. No, um, no. Historic district. So I'm hearing the word district well, I, is important. I think it's interesting. I think it's a, important for everybody to weigh in. So Adrian sees your point of having the marker mm -hmm. and having the toppers be the way that they are, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah, well, and to sort of expand on that, it's like I mean, from a from a, a branding and marketing standpoint, um, I mean, we want. I mean, there's some benefit to having the whole of Troutdale City Center to be considered historic to some extent. But it, but the north side is not right at all. It's not at all. Um, and so, kind of so what. You know, I think what at least Leanne and I are saying is that this district is, and I think having the verbiage historic district is in both significant and important, and versus just saying historic Troutdale because it's just so generic. And whatever you do, it's just, it is, um, in my view, it is. Um, it, it does kind of become background of just historic. I mean, we've heard historic Troutdale, historic Troutdale, it's written mm -hmm. so many places, this and that. It's the perception. It's what people love about downtown Troutdale is it's historic charm, all of those things. But, it, but to have a historic district calls it out as something unique and special. The, the words matter to <clears> me. <throat> but so Leanne has kind of, <clears throat> Uh, reiterated that, and we did not plan this, and I don't know how Carol and Diane feel at all. 
And I, I just thought that was the purpose of this, is to establish where the district is. Yeah. yeah. And if it doesn't say district, then okay. we're not really doing anything. Right. Yeah, what, we're just putting it, up signs. What is the definition of district? So, <laughs> do you want it like in the... Um, like Webster's... I, I'm just wondering, like, intent, because the other thing I was thinking of is... Um, well, I know whatever the, the information uh, sign would be, that whatever we pick as the topper should be at the top. Mm -hmm. So then that's the identifier. So then they kind of know when they're in that area. But then again, I didn't know what district meant because then if there was other historic areas in Troutdale, like I know Glen Otto Park is and, and stuff like that, I didn't know what might suffice is where it says established 1907, if it had in like old, yeah, it's more, oh, yeah. more upright for sure. Um, you can go a bit, a little bit before the top is over. Yeah, you got real estate. What year did it, did Hungry Hill happen? That's a good That's question because good. the can the I city was the incorporated in 1907. Uh -huh. But when was the historic the Do you see it? plat? Actually, I don't have that information. The, the plats were a number of kind of. I remember from last month, we're like a decade earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull up actually yeah, the um, Troutdale Town Center plan really quick <laughs> because I think in the Town Center plan it lays out um, where these areas are, like the Town Center area, the Hungry Hill um, district area. So I'm going to pull it up really quick and, and see my, what Because my idea, says. without knowing what that means, was underneath Troutdale. If somewhere, like maybe to the far left, it said established 1907, but in like old font cursive, it said Hungry Hill. So mm -hmm. then later on, if there is another area that we want to designate as historic at a later time, then then there's that distinguishing mm -hmm. yeah. thing if you're doing a if you're walking mm -hmm. or something. And then, but I thought that because I like to see Troutdale because I understand the marketing thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Can we find out exact? Do we know exactly how long these are going to be? Yeah, they're good. They should be. The, actually to scale? They should be. If they're they, as big as a general of one of the regular signs, they are they're probably at least twenty inches, if not twenty. And I may be able to grab one from Fairview <laughs> <laughs> because they, I, yeah. Because okay. um, what I'm what I'm thinking is if we could have one of these in its full size, I think it would be really clear that there's plenty of room to write and to add what we're asking for. It'd still be legible. Yeah. And you should be able to pick that in scale, and that's what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. So according to the dictionary, it says a. Um, it's an area of a country or city, especially one regarded as, I should have my glasses on, dis, district or a distinct unit because of a particular characteristic. <clears throat> like committees are um, districted in community blocks. I was just wondering because I'm I'm just not fond of the word district, just connotation wise, but I don't that's why I thought Hungry Hill at the bottom of that. Well it so. also says um, an area of a city that is set apart for a purpose or having a special feature. Yeah. I mean there I mean it's pretty okay. common throughout the nation to have historic districts, even throughout the world. That they have historic districts. So is there a way I can um, share, yeah. share this? Yeah. Um, so this is, districts and business districts. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Entertainment mm -hmm. districts. And yeah. True. Which which of these is what Troutdale uses for our entrance signs or our boundary signs now? Oh. Um, they go. One, I two, think three, four, five, six. Somebody. I think it's like the maybe the first one, but with off the blue. Yeah. So that would be number two. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. You have a little cheat sheet yeah. there. 
Um, so if you look at sign one and imagine, it says Trapdale, uh, Oregon. No, you're asking for the city limit sign? Yeah. What that looks that. like? I have nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can get that information, but I believe it is number two. With that, yeah, so it's just all one color mm -hmm. without the special yep. the rainbow colors. Yeah. Okay, so that. And, and I was I was looking up most most street name signs you standardize at like twenty four inches wide. Uh -huh. So imagine that. Basically, imagine, imagine that twice one. as big. Right. Yes. Twice as big. Now. But also remember that this is going to be this is going to be seen at most often at twenty miles an hour from hundred yeah. feet away. Yeah. Or like walking. You know, walking. Or, yeah. Yeah. I do like what Diana is saying about Hungry Hill, and I wonder if that needs to be more of maybe that's instead of where Troutdale it needs to say Hungry Hill, mm -hmm. Troutdale Historic District, uh -huh. because. I think Trump if we're just putting, if we're squeezing in historic districts mm -hmm. somewhere, it's still going to look like the regular trout death sign. And we want this to be designated and specific to a certain area. And Hungry Hill will take that. And you still have trout doll on there and you still mm -hmm. have historic district in my eyes. Mm -hmm. But Hungry Hill will take precedence. Mm -hmm. Just because we're trying to say this is Hungry Hill. It's not. Historic Trout Dell, because that could be in several different places, like yep. you said, Glen Auto Park. Right. But this is Hungry Hill, that's what we're trying to designate as yep. Hungry Hill. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I have found. <laughs> I remember. You're going, God dang, Morley, why'd she get sick on tonight? Mm -hmm. I know, <laughs> but that's okay, because, like, like I said, I think these conversations are going to last a couple of meetings. Yep. Um, and, it, and it's great having these conversations to. You know, flesh yeah, all this out. That. That's right. I've never seen that. Um, so this this map right here is a map that is in the city's town center plan, and it kind of designates where the downtown area is. So um, not and, entirely accurate. Right. I don't know how it does. <laughs> um, right. No. Is yeah. It's not accurate. No. What year Sorry. was statehood? Huh? What year was statehood? For Oregon? Yeah. 1859. Yeah, 59. Okay, because I think my property was platted at, before that. Really? Because, yes, because when we did, had to deal with the water issues, um, there were certain regulations depending upon if you were pl platted before statehood or after statehood. So we do have different historic districts. Absolutely. Different yeah. historic yeah. areas, at yeah. least. But if we're talking about Hungry Hill, that map yeah. is wrong. That map is wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, but that, I mean, that, the intent behind that designation of the town center plan mm -hmm. is, is the town center. Like, the neighborhood, not the, the district. Right. The not, the, district. not the plot itself. Well, it should have been but, called something else. I'm not sure how that well, got Well, how did that, how did that map even get approved? I don't know. I'm, like, yeah, I can't why I right now. bailed off of the committee. Wow. Yeah, so I think somebody put that map together without the input of the TCP members because they would have corrected that. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of here. Yeah, so <laughs> that was because now we've, okay, but the actually, Hungry Hill platted map. Yeah, that, it. yeah, the, so it's that is not correct. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, don't be don't be sorry. I just wanted to share because I remember seeing it. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, look, people, we're doing this because we're doing it. Okay, so I'm I'm writing down my notes. We like the word district mm -hmm. somewhere within the sign. We'd love to have Hungry Hill in there mm -hmm. because it, then it, then as other areas are developed, then it's already done. You don't have to go back and redo signage. I think because we're trying to stay consistent with coloring and such, yeah, that we, we really should. need to change it up. We could just do that. What's that? We could just stick with this format, so it's congruent. Unless we, unless we're trying to really, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe using colors like in the in sign one, 
I like using the same font that the city yeah. is using. Yeah. I, yeah. I think yeah. that, forget that down there. Yeah. So you're saying we could change that brown to something else? Well, typically you know, this is good. This the writing historic and the establisher in color up here. Well, I know, but I mean, I don't think they'll let us change the brown. And I don't want to try and fight a fight that's not. I'm just brown. asking if that was even an, an option. Change the brown to the color of the, that blue. I think brown it feels historic. Right. Typ but typically, it, historic just, districts have a brown, brown topper. Yeah, um, they're typically not. brown or brown. cream. I have not. I've not. I've seen a blue, but and it was very distinct that it was a historic district. It wasn't another dropout sign. And that's that's what I'm worried about is that we're just going to Blend in. gloss over it because it looks like our other dropout signs. And it's not going to be as distinct. Yeah. Um, and, I, and unless we can, you know, change that trout down into Hungry Hill, that's the only thing that I can see that would get your catch your eye going, oh, this is different. Other than that, than changing the color. Um, Uh, not big sheets, I have little sheets. Yeah, I have very little sheets. I have very little sheets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to draw on these. What do you guys think? Okay. Go for it. Um, good we could use the back of a normal paper. You need chocolate. Yeah, maybe. That works. No, I like it. I like it. We don't do yeah. chocolate anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this okay? Yeah, no worries. Okay. Just a little sheet sheet. Okay. All right. Things just don't understand the joys of pounding a razor's queen. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and it would have been nice if Barbara was here because I, I know she has some thought to why things are the way, because that's why I wanted to know how all the branding was going mm -hmm. within the. Yeah. Um, and so, I want to so, say within the branding thing. Yes. I mean, and so the how new. How much of it does it have to be? I mean, this so is the destination branding that we wanted to sh show this evening, which we'll show next month, is very similar to the city's, I shouldn't say very similar, but it complements what the city already has. They, they go really well. They go well together. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it, it's, it's slightly different. Um, and it's slightly different in the effect that we, kind of went back in history to, you know, um, the era of when the highway was being built and looked at signs and looked at fonts and mm -hmm. <laughs> right. pulled out that, that character mm -hmm. just a bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even if it's a I know Hungry Hill, and then on the bottom it could say Troutdale established 1907 on the bottom line. Right. Yeah. So we still have Troutdale in there for marketing purposes yeah. and stuff. Because people already know that we're in Troutdale. Yeah, but a smaller Troutdale, Troutdale Most. established 1907. I mean, it's still, if for whatever purposes, for advertisement or whatever. Because if it's 24 inches wide, then there's room for that. Here's room for Troutdale and established 1907. Yeah, so I'm kind of like picturing it to having like the established 1907 at the top, mm -hmm. maybe Troutdale in the middle like it is, and then like underneath there, a long way, like Hungry Hill District on the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's but, room for that. Yeah. There is room, but I would make the, that. Hungry Hill a little bit, bit bigger, uh, bigger yes. plot than it than the establishment is right there. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I would make it bigger. So make which bigger? Hungry Hill. Hungry Hill. Hungry so Hill is bigger. The, where? Up top or bottom or bottom? On the bottom. Bottom. On the bottom. But fit the whole Hungry Hill district. So we have everything. Everything in there. <laughs> But when was Hungry Hill established? It was actually platted before that. 
Yeah, I mean the the plants were were prior to incorporation. Right. And, we did, and what year was it? Um, Eighteen ninety four. Yeah. It was, I think it was 1894 and 1895 and 1890 like or maybe it was 1895 1896 it was somewhere around yeah. there do we have a copy machine we have asked this question before I think um, I don't know if we can use the all I can think of is you could ask if someone's there, but I don't know if they would really entertain it. Yeah, I think we, could, we might just have to pass it around. So if I look up Google, it says Hungry Hill is a hillside in Troutdale, organ that was platted by Celestia Harlow after her mm -hmm. husband's death in 1883. Uh, much of the new city was built in 1890 and 1891. Yeah, 1890 is what I have as the first yeah. plat being established. There you go. And then 91 was the first edition. 1991 first edition. I don't know why. Like, what, I'm sorry, stuck what in year did head. you guys just say? Here are some ideas. Take a look, pass around. Sorry for the. Uh, Three you know, so, Designating which ones, which ones do and do not have a fish. Or, well, forget that. No, that's <laughs> I'm going to redraw the fish. fish it's okay because uh, when we come back no. next month, yeah. we'll we'll even yeah. see a, a different yeah. fish. Ooh. We'll see a different fish. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, what's going on? The ra losing the rainbow. It's going to be one solid color. What's it going to do? Or it's more gonna... historic. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a good reaction. Oh. Okay. <laughs> is it the old fish? The old old fish. fish. <laughs> oh, the two fish. The two fish. What is that? Yeah. What is the third fish? Um, is it a Is that a trap? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a it's a carp. It's a carp. So if you, so if if we brought up, oh God, this is I feel so sad. Marley isn't here. But we went back into the archives and we looked at the old records of when the of when the Columbia River Highway was being built. And when it was being built, engineers had sketched like mm -hmm. drawings of trees oh, and, uh -huh. and fish and the they had actually even had drawings of the waterfalls. Um, they had an artist come out and they drew this onto the <coughs> plan set of the highway. Oh, wow. nice. We went in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Copied it. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So, how's it look? I, I, I like it a lot. Do um, you like it better? Well, we, we, I mean. Do we get to vote on it? Yeah, I think we okay. get to vote on it. Next month. Okay. Yeah. I can't or, wait or to see it. you know, at least maybe we don't vote. Maybe we just have a discussion and, yeah. you know, it leads to, you know, a, a certain preference. Uh huh. Um, when this fish was developed for the city's brand, I mean, the city's brand is is um, more for but how does the organization yeah. present itself to the yeah. outside community? Mm -hmm. You know, it's more it, it's a happy little fish that's, you know, colorful. Um, it, you know, on city forms, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's yeah. kind of, you know, more organizational where this new destination branding um, is really trying to capture like the visitor's experience. Mm -hmm. And we'll have that well, conversation. This is, this, is, this is a sales job. This is what they came up with. So. This is what they sold everybody on. And, and, and it's great. And we will yeah. still, and we will still use it. Use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Oh, sorry. And this is oh, that was just a little historic strange. trout bell. Does anybody, does that, does, does any of those, do any of those strike people with kind of more of the concept of what they, what they envision? Historical what do you, would you like? District. Leanne, two. Yeah. Carol? It's two. Yeah, I like two. Diane? You know what, I, I need to see scale because I need to see what fits on that arch on the top. Because see, here's what I drew up. If you check that one out. Um, mm -hmm. I, I you did had it almost the same. Yeah, it has to fit. Um, uh -huh. uh, so we have, we have, yeah, it has to be scaled to see uh -huh. what, what's what, what fits where. Mm -hmm. You see how I did it so mm -hmm. that Hungry Hill District could be big. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. But I don't, I don't how many inches tall it is or whatever. Personally. I don't like Hungry Hill District as much as oh. Hungry Hill and Historic District. Yeah. Hungry Hill oh. District is not accurate. Got it. It's yeah. a historic district. Okay. It's very specific. It's like Hungry Hill, Historic District, Hungry Hill, Hungry Hill. Yeah, and, and the other thing I think we, we probably want to avoid for accuracy's sake is like the historic district established whatever, because that's not, because we're establishing the historic district now. The, the Hungry Hill area was yeah, established. Yeah, maybe we stay out of the 1890s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you put that on the bottom, Troutdale was established 1907. That yeah. explains Troutdale. Yeah. And the Hungry Hill portion it's, of it can be in that interpretive sign that explains. Yeah. 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 We don't have to give all the information yeah. at once. Yeah. Can you, Leanne, can you repeat what you just said? <laughs> Which part? Yeah. So, so the bottom line, it says Troutdale established yeah, 1907. Yeah, I'm going to show these. People, so the um, bottom line would say Trotdale. 1907, and that's when Number established two. 1907. That's mm -hmm. Frank, if you're Trotdale. listening, Hungry Hill, oh, you, you can't don't see need it, can to you? Um, put the year it was established. Because that could be an interpretive <laughs> sign. Turn off your fuzzy filter. Yeah, try to help him. Actually, just send it on an email. Nope. Uh, <laughs> it is a one of a kind from uh, Miss Erin Jensen, so we can't send it in an email oh, at the moment. Scan it, scan it later. So yeah, just scan it later. Don't worry about it. I got the but, idea. Thanks. Leanne, would do you want it to say district, historic district, historic district, kind of at Hungry the top? Hill, Troutdale, 19, established nineteen oh seven. That that checks off all the boxes. It does. It does. Gives you the information really quick. That's why I said we have to see the, the size because it might have to be historic the same district might have to be under it to accommodate I'm everything. I, I know I'm making myself a note. Yeah. Things <laughs> visually clear. And that's what they, think, they need to that, yeah, yeah, they yeah, give us works. different options. Of, yeah. yeah. That's, that's where the graphic designers make their That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Is there just the, the, the little the little nuances in, in putting the graphics like right up there and the differences between having the, the slightly more compressed versus the stretched out historic mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, and, yeah, just the different fonts. Yeah, and I definitely, at least and of those, I mean, I definitely don't, I don't care for the colored text because I think that just washes out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty, um, but you might not be able to see it from yeah. when you yeah. drive. Yeah. I also don't really care for the the funky font on the on number four on the established 1907. Oh, I don't mind that font, but I don't like the Art yeah, Deco the, the font art, there. The Art Deco font is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Since you guys are all talking about this, would you like? To do our little exercise right now. Okay, you're not going to hold this hold this against it if we vote. And then you say, "But well, you chose that one." Yeah, like We've had these like games it. played on. Can we vote? Most pros out. Okay, we all have a yeah, first. Okay. Okay, so what the the colors don't mean anything. Oh. Just pick out your top three. As far as font. As, as far as overall. Overall, overall impression. <laughs> None. We, and that's 
that's fine. See, that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's and that's fine. Know is that we, see, we but it know. helps us think of the font. It helps us. We can yes. talk yes. about yes. why yes. each yes. one was uh -huh. like. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Legally binding stickers you put about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind that font if everything else is in that font. I'm, I'm curious to see more of that font. Like if. Here, and take a pen, write down, um, write down your thoughts. Exactly like that. Curious about more of this font. Because that helps us. Yeah. Diane's going to mix it up. She always does. Watch her. She'll, yes. <laughs> no, because that's, I, I'm not keen on that line. So no. I'm just doing this. No. Okay, yeah, I like this. So it's actually the color, but again, it depends, but, yeah. it depends how big the letters are. If it's a 24 inch. Yeah. And I was sitting back there, I thought these were the same. That you can see. I just said, my color isn't great because I just. Glasses on the back there, so these both are the same color. Oh, otherwise they're different type of colors. Two, three, and four. Yep. You guys can start taking, like, making little dots on the side before you come to this meeting. Y'all are in peace. Just kidding. Yeah, I wish. We're all making the same color. Yeah. Yeah, I would like if it. I had a nickel for every time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that that's, 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 that's a whole deal, deal change with how many letters they have. Yeah. So I yeah. just like it filling it out a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it will with the hungry meat. Well, yeah. 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 Well, that's another thing they could do is um, um, same font. I love the fact that we're all the same colors. I know. I know, it's actually very impressive. Just to mix it up a little bit. So one of my comments on here is you know, how this is spread out more and it takes up the full sign. Mm -hmm. What if this these letters weren't so crammed together and a little bit of space between them so that it, it filled more of the sign? However, I think that that will happen automatically if you say Hungry Hill or Historic District, then, it's, then it is going to take up the whole width of the sign mm -hmm. and stand out. So, how are you feeling about it? I'm feeling good. We're moving along. We're having great <laughs> conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we have 15 more minutes. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, in our last 15 minutes, um, what else would you like from us? Um, is there anything else? I can't think of anything else. Uh, I think it was just the, uh, the grand presentation. Yeah. On the agenda. Yep. Okay. But this is all great information for us to know before we come back next month. Um, and before we wrap up this evening, I would um, like to talk about dates in December because I believe 
Yeah, December's complicated. This, uh, yeah. Competitive. I know, I know. It's, it's about, and I don't know what all of your schedules are like, too, with the holidays. You're going to be out of town, and let's take a look at the calendar here. Pulling up the oh, state great. calendar. Great, great, great. So many calendars. Mm -hmm. Or December. There we are. I doubt anybody's available on the 26th. Um, yeah, and that was the regular meeting. Yeah. <laughs> well, since we did it early this month, um, how does the 12th look for people? So it's about a month out. I'm open. Um, is that? I could do that. I think. The uh, the room's open on the 12th. Let's, I just want to take a look here. Um, CAC Planning Commission, and then TCAB typically meets the 19th. third Thursday, which yeah, is the 19th. 19th. So the 12th is open. Also work for everybody. Well, um, will you all have enough time to work on the graphics? Most likely, time? yes. It's about a block away. Mm -hmm. Right. Super. That was easy. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so just to recap, what should we expect next month? You are you going to send us anything in the mail, or we should just we're going to come back and we're going to have a new presentation of signage. So when we come back next month, I'm, we're going to bring these back, um, Not and these then. Exact. Something like this. <laughs> something something like this. Exactly. And then we'll also present some different options and talk about our destination brand. Okay. Great. Cool. Okay. That sounds fantastic. And, and can we can we possibly see one or one or two of those select yep. options at scale? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really yeah, that'd be nice. Put it on the other side of the room and see how it looks. Yeah. I think this now that I'm looking at this, this font is larger than this font, at least in the his, on historic. If you guys can mm -hmm. see that, mm -hmm. I'm just noticing it now. This yeah. historic is larger than that historic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's, it's spread out. It's, more. yeah, it's spread yeah. out more. But with the four rows, we're not going to be able to. I think it's slightly larger, too. Yeah. It's a larger It could font. be. Yeah, just ever, it's two points up or something. It's a whole different game with four rows of, of wording. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I don't think we went with four rows, did we? No, yeah. we, I mean, I think yeah. we can stick with three rows. Yeah, we, st we still have three yeah. rows in each. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the way, the way I drafted, I think you drafted four, four lines, though. Mm -hmm. But we can look at all of those. Yeah. I think four rows starts to get too busy. Yeah. Starts right. to compete. Depends on the lettering. And the size again, it's yeah. that's so hard. It's like the graphic yeah. you visually you have to True. lay yeah. all that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, well, Erica, thank you so much for. Oh no! Bringing, Thanks to all of you. I, <laughs> you've been working on this for years. Years. Yeah. I. <laughs> yeah, a long, a long time. So thank yeah, it's you. time to we, it's time we, to wrap this up and time to wrap it up. come to some conclusions and find the funding and yeah. get it done. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, before we move to adjourn, is there anything else that we have? I know we've got a little bit of time. Is there anything, any other topic people want to discuss or bring up? What is going on with the? Um, It was just an attempt, my time. Um, getting des that the forms that we had to fill out. 
the uh, sort of thing. economic yes the economic oh. where are we at with that oh no 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 i was thinking about the individual ones that we have to do every year uh oh, no, no you're uh talking about it was the get a connection so we can get grant money yes the, i can't remember oh, the, the, uh, the um crg yeah yes. CLG. 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 Yes. clg oh yeah certified local government um so after the side discussion um that's been taken the back burner um for sure mm -hmm. um, okay. yeah we'll take a look take at that we can you we'll know take a I look at that and bring it back yeah put it on the agenda for next month and just okay yeah see, and then we can just like uh, wrap that up um, maybe at a council meeting uh in january that would be great to get on i mean we don't even we can it can be short and sweet it could be one of the five minute public testimony things that we can just go up and say by the way we had approval from council previously we want to let you know that we're going to finally be submitting this yes. welcome the new counselors and um, that we're going to be submitting this and want your blessing and we'll move on and yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can get you on, on the Sunday. agenda. Yeah. For sure. Super. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to be on the agenda because it could be like late into the agenda. So I'd rather like show up early and just show up and you know what I mean? When that happens. We'll figure it out so you're on early. Okay, good. <laughs> um, all right. Well, with that, Adrian requested an eight o'clock exit time and I think we have succeeded. We met the mission of tonight so do we have a motion to adjourn i make a motion to adjourn a second second and all in favor aye. aye great great seeing everybody and um we'll be here back on the 12th sounds good super